Hello my friends! Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Awashi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome! I hope you'll consider subscribing and if you're back, welcome back! Today I have a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club that I am so excited about because you guys, we knew that this kit was coming months and months and months ago. And for a while I saw a lot of posts in the VIP group and even in the comment section of some Diamond Art Club posts like, when is this kit coming? Because it was showing up in a video that was in some promo posts that Diamond Art Club had put up and that would pop up in your feed and stuff. And then I haven't seen people asking about this. Thank you. Some people kind of forgot about it, but I'm about to refresh your memory. You guys, guess what I have to share with you all today? She's finally here. You guys, it's Harley in the red dress is the name of this piece. Oh my gosh. Can we talk about these amazing kits that we are getting from Diamond Art Club as part of their licensing agreement with Warner Brothers. And this is specifically with DC Comics. You guys, you guys, she's finally here. I have been so excited for this kit since we got a tease of what this is going to look like again in these promo posts that I swear at this point were like over six months ago. So yay, Diamond Art Club, it's finally here. Thank you for bringing this amazing artwork to us. So again, this is DC, the Suicide Squad specifically. We've had a couple other kits that have been a part of this particular line. And if you remember in those kits, we did have lots of this really special branding on these boxes that is so much fun. Again, here's some of that Suicide Squad artwork. The back of the box also has info about how diamond painting works and the kit contents. Here is that original artwork again. This is gonna have 58 colors, including four AB diamonds. And you know what, you guys? This is actually gonna have round diamonds in it. We've had mostly square drill diamond painting kits lately, but this particular one is going to have rounds. It's going to be 56 by 79 centimeters. And there is the name of the artwork, Harley Quinn and the red dress. Now let's go ahead and get into this box. And I do want to mention that as part of Diamond Art Club's licensing agreement with Warner Brothers, we don't necessarily get artist names with these kits. So while this art style may look very familiar to you, we don't have an official artist name. We just know that this is part of the Warner Brothers library. So everything has been done above board. You know, it has been licensed. The artist is being compensated. But just in case you're curious, <laughs> because this is an art style that I know many of us probably adore and love. But yes, so do we? Yeah, there we go. Let's say, do we get a small sticker with her? So. Anyway, here are all of our kit contents, you guys. I am so stoked about this kit. Can you tell? Can you tell? Uh, here we have our toolkit. It looks like this is the newer version of the toolkit. The bag is reusable and recyclable. There are a couple of different versions of the toolkits floating around with Diamond Art Club's kits. You may or may not get the newer one. You might get the older one. Either way, either toolkit is going to have everything you need to do your diamond painting. The newer toolkit, let me show you what this includes. So we have a pen with a squishy. The color may vary on both. You get a bag of baggies so you can store your leftover diamonds in or kit up into. We have a caddy with two plates of the pink heart wax. Make sure you take off the thin plastic film on top before you try to load up your pen. Since this is a round drill diamond painting kit, it is not going to come with tweezers, but you are gonna get a tray. This is the one that is a little more, um, slightly more opaque. There's a couple of different versions of the plastic tray with the gold sparkles, even in the new toolkits. So this is one that has a little bit more give. It does come with a tray stopper, also with gold sparkles. You also are gonna get a couple of these thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at multi-placing more than one diamond at a time. And these last two things are the biggest wild cards for if they're going to come with your kit. These only come with the newer toolkits and the print on the washi tape and the style of the cover minder is going to vary. So again, this is a cover minder. This is actually this is really pretty. <laughs> cover minders have magnets on the back. You can slide the one off and put it under the canvas in the area that you're working on. Then, um, in that area that you're working on, peel back the plastic cover, set this part on top, and that's gonna hold back the plastic cover for you. The roll of washi tape, there are a couple of different uses for this. I like to use this to cover up the border of the canvas. So uh, just past the edge of the drill field, sometimes you'll see a little bit of glue. Covering it up with washi tape prevents any dirt or dust from getting in there. I also like to use my washi tape to section off my canvas into smaller sections to work on. That's just how I like to work on my paintings. You certainly don't have to, but if you're curious, 
about uh, seeing just a video, a kind of visual of what to use washi tape for. I do have a video dedicated to that. I'll have it linked below in the description box. Here we have our little logbook sticker. So I like to use this in my paper logbook since it has all the information about the kit, Harley Quinn and the red dress, MM. Uh, again, we don't have the artist's name officially, but we do know that this has been legally licensed from DC Comics and Warner Brothers. There's that amazing original artwork, round diamonds, and then the size, 56 by 79 centimeters or 22 by 31 inches. The rest of the kit contents are gonna be in here in this branded plastic bag or dust cover. By the way, thank you Diamond Art Club for sending this over. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but guys, oh my gosh, look, we even get like the frame. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been so excited for this kit for so long. Look at her, okay, let's flip it sideways so we can see it a little bit better. How beautiful would this go with a kit my garden needs tending? Like with Ivy, oh my gosh. Look at Harley. She looks so cool, I love it. We'll look at these diamonds together here in just a bit. Let me show you what else is in here. So we have a pamphlet that includes a thank you note from the founder here on the front. We have info about your kit contents. This QR code will take you to a step-by-step -step instruction video. This QR code will take you to the VIP Facebook group. I definitely recommend joining that Facebook group once you've made your first purchase. It's a really great resource and a really fun place to connect with other people that are working on diamond painting kits from Diamond Art Club. Here's step-by-step -step instructions written out for you as well as some tips and tricks and a discount code. That's one of many. Here on the back, we have QR codes that'll take you to the mobile app on your respective mobile device. Once you make your first purchase through there, or rather, when you make your first purchase, you can get 20% off in the app. So speaking of discount codes, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club, which means that I also have a discount code that you're welcome to use. Uh, if you're looking at making your very first purchase from Diamond Art Club and want to save 20%, you're welcome to use my affiliate code, which is Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. I may make a small commission on that. It goes right back into the channel, but I want to be completely transparent with you. Don't feel obligated to use it whatsoever. The only thing I ever say is don't pay full price for Diamond Art Club. There are discount codes everywhere. They don't want you to pay full price. So take advantage and save some money for sure. Here we have a, another sticker sheet. This one's a bigger one. It's got the title, the artwork, a spot to write your start and end date. That incredible original artwork. We even get this frame as part of the diamond painting. <laughs> and then diamond shape round, 56 by 79 centimeters. Over here is our pre-cut set of stickers for our kidding up, for our... Um, <laughs> our inventory sheet. So here we have the, the number, so the serial number, we just we have 58 colors in this kit, the symbol, and then the color code, which is the same as the DMC color code. The one exception though, is that in Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're gonna have four of those in this kit. I'll explain more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds together, but I just wanted to take a quick glance at these symbols and see if any, any jump out at me as ones I'm afraid we'll mix up. And none are jumping out at me. The only ones that I like to point out is sometimes you'll have multiple arrows in variation, um, in different variations. So you have like this arrow right here and then this arrow here. They're pointing different directions and have different background colors. But I always say it can't hurt to make sure that you have your uh, storage containers for your diamonds oriented the same way as you're working on the canvas. That way it's a little bit easier to keep track and make sure you're using the right symbols. All right, my friends, look at how gorgeous she is. Oh my goodness. So I wanna go ahead and take you on just a little tour of the elements of the canvas. Up here at the top, we have Diamond Art Club's branding. Do what makes you sparkle. The edges are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. You might see a couple little bits here and there, but that's just where they cut this. Again, especially with that finishing there, you're not gonna have to worry about the fraying going into the canvas if there even is any. The material on the canvas itself is really, really soft and plush on the back, and it's a nice thick material that's both really sturdy for holding diamonds, but also really malleable. It has a self-flattening feature, so it just 
lays flat on its own. It holds diamonds beautifully once you've put diamonds down. And the glue itself they use is a poured glue. Sometimes it has a little bit of a sparkle to it even. But between the nice plushness of the canvas and the quality of the poured glue, it makes diamond painting on diamond art club canvases just a really enjoyable and relaxing experience, which I appreciate. <laughs> Here at the top left, we do have the full color list, that legend. We have that same legend down here at the bottom right. Again, 58 colors, that's quite colorful. <laughs> Here at the bottom left is the thumbnail of the original artwork and all the information. Again, the title, the size, and all of the licensing information. Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of their artwork for their diamond paintings, which means that they both have permission to use the artwork and that the artist and the company are being fairly compensated. That's super important to me, especially because art theft, especially of really popular IPs like these, like Harley, are very frequently stolen without permission. And so I'm all about shouting out companies like Diamond Art Club that are doing it right. So anyway, here we've got their social media info and yet another discount code. Be sure to follow their socials so that you can see previews of new releases each week. Here at the bottom right, info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that warranty. So if you ever run into any trouble with the canvas or if you run out of a color in your diamonds or have trouble with the glue, anything at all, contact Diamond Art Club's customer service and they'll get you taken care of. Let's take a look up close at the canvas just to see what we think of the printing. So we have lots of this black outlining. Again, very, very distinct art style. So we're probably gonna have lots of 310 in this kit. Um, this is, yeah, I'm seeing some color blocking. Color blocking is areas like right here where you see we've got a lot of this green symbol going on. Um, and then, you know, a lot of this really thick black outlining is color blocking as well. Those areas tend to go more quickly because you're able to use a multi-placer and you'll have that color in your tray for longer. By contrast, areas that have lots of color changes in a small area, like for example, even here, kind of at the bottom of her dress, there's lots of different colors going on. Um, and we call that confetti. So you'll be changing out that color in your tray more often and uh, using a single placer primarily probably but I like a mix of both in my paintings and I think that this has it so there is a huge variety of color in this painting obviously there's going to be lots of red but I'm seeing lots of purples and pinks and blues and greens even in the background Oh my goodness. So the Suicide Squad and Harley Quinn have kind of that really wild and chaotic energy and vibe. And it feels like they have captured this in both the original artwork and in the translation to diamond painting. Her face looks like it's going to be really gorgeously rendered as well. So love it. Love it. Love it. All right. Let's do a quick measurement and see if we're looking true to size. We should be at, let's see, 79 centimeters tall. Let's take a look. I want to make sure I include include the frame. I almost wanted to skip it. Let me make sure we're laying flat as well. We're at 79 centimeters on the nose. So that is true to size top to bottom. And then we are at 56 centimeters left to right. So it is measuring true to size. That is consistent with Diamond Art Club. Their kits usually do measure true to size and this is no exception. So let's go ahead. I'll let you just enjoy how epically chaotic she is. And let's look at the diamonds together. So uh, we do have a label of the title here on the diamond, the package of diamonds. So if you do store these separate from the canvas, it'll be super easy to match it up again later. But let's get into these. Now, like I mentioned, well, first, look at those colors. Goodness, those are gorgeous. Love it, love it. Uh, I did mention earlier that uh, we've been seeing a lot fewer round kits lately. That's because, ooh, there's an open bag of diamonds, maybe a yellow, we'll see. I'll take a look for that. Um, oh, there it is, those, those ABs. Okay, <gasps> ooh, yep, that's open. Okay, I wanna make sure I don't lose any more of these. Where are you open, my friend? 
Okay, hold on just a sec. Okay. We're all good. So there was just a really light cut in the top of the bag that meant that these were kind of spilling out. So I just went ahead and put it in one of the baggies that came with this just to make sure I don't lose any. Now, this is actually a really good um, demonstration of my confidence in Diamond Art Club's lifetime warranty. If I were, if I, if I ran into an issue where like if that cut in the bag meant that some of these had fallen out and I didn't have enough to actually complete the canvas with the areas this has been charted, I know that I could contact Diamond Art Club and just let them know, hey, I ran out of this particular color and I'm confident that they would send me replacements very quickly. So I'm not at all worried about this, but I did go ahead and bag up this AB. I'll talk more about ABs here in just a bit, but I wanted to get that taken care of so it wasn't distracting us. So what I started to mention though was just that Diamond Art Club did recently pause production on their round drill diamond painting canvases for some quality control. I do not know if this is one of their newer round drill kits or from before. So I will just say that if, I know that if I run into any quality issues with these, or if you were to run into any quality issues with these, again, Diamond Art Club's customer service is top notch contact them. I'm sure they are well aware of any potential problems and they will take care of you. You will be able to complete your canvas. You're covered under that warranty, but we're going to look at these diamonds and make sure that they look really good to us. So right off the bat, all this black outlining, of course, we're gonna have lots of this 310 black diamond. So one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310. And I'm looking... You guys, these look so shiny, so sparkly. I am not seeing red flags in these. These look great. Let's keep going. Of course, reds, because Harley Quinn in the red dress. 498, 321, 606, super bright. 912, 814, 352, 951, 353. One of those will be in her skin tones. 351, 744. And then we'll get into this little straggler strand from where I cut out those ABs. So 775, 165, 128. This will be the first AB that I'm really showing you. So if you take a look, look at that super extra sparkly coating on the tops of these diamonds. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And you'll see that these have this really shimmery effect, much like the Northern Lights do, which is how they get their name. So the areas that these have been charted are going to sparkle even more than the regular diamonds do. They'll pick up some of the colors of the diamonds around them. It's gonna highlight those areas, draw your eye to those areas a little bit. I will be sure to show you, once we're done looking at all these colors together, we'll look at the canvas. I'm gonna point out to you where we're gonna find those AB diamonds together. Lots of oranges and pinks, some grays and purples. 913, 762, 3811, 798, 3609, 601, 3799, 3844, 992, 3846, 3770, 743, and 3706. Lots of smaller bags with smaller quantities of diamonds, which in a canvas this size, not surprising, because there's so many colors in a small size. <laughs> here is a little straggler strands here, kind of patriotic feeling here two big bags of 141 this is our second ab and a little straggler diamond 141 i feel like is one of diamond art club's favorites because it's an amazing amazing neutral this white ab sparkles so beautifully again we'll be sure to look at where those ones go we have 666 and 3810 3608-741-208-3855 3766, 413, 3845, 640, 954, 3801, 3721, 782, 603, 334, 562, 126. There is our third AB. It's a really pale lavender. Really subtle. There'll probably only be a little handful of those in this kit. 3854, 742, 340, 783. And then last but not least, this is our little bag of yellow AB diamonds that did break open. This is AB number 130 is the color code for this one. It's really, really pretty yellow AB. All right, let's take a look at the canvas together. I wanna to point out where we're gonna find those different ABs in this kit. So we'll start at the bottom. Right off the bat here, at the, oh, you can't, not quite in frame. Here, let's scooch you up a little bit. So here at the bottom of the frame, we have a bunch of the yellow AB actually right here. 
that frame is gonna sparkle love that a little bit of the yellow AB right here and here like there's three of that yellow AB and then uh, a lot of the white AB right here a little bit of the purple AB a tiny tiny handful just just right here there's four of them <laughs> white AB here interestingly there's no red ABs in this kit a bunch of the white AB up here some white AB highlighting here where we have these arrows cutting in. A little bit of white AB here in the middle of this heart. Um, a little bit of the pink AB doing some highlighting along the bottom of her dress. And right here as well. Uh, some of the white, a little bit of the white and pink AB here on these, the bottom of these ruffles. Doing some highlighting again. Actually most of these ruffles. We've got a little bit of the pink and the white AB throughout. Here in this, what is she holding? It's not a sword. It's it's something else with a pointy edge. Is this just a really big pointy stick? I don't know. Lots of white ABs through here. Some white AB highlighting on the undersides like of her fingers. Let's keep going up. Make sure I'm not missing any. More white ABs, a ton of white ABs here in the frame. And again, on these triangles kind of cutting in, we also have a big bunch of the pink AB, like big, big chunks of the pink AB here, a little bit of the yellow AB here. It's that purple AB I'm nervous about overlooking because <laughs> there was just a tiny handful of it. White ABs right here, a little bit on the uh, sleeve, a little cap of her dress that's coming down on the underside of her arm, undersides of her fingers. We have white ABs and purple ABs. Actually, that pale lavender AB is doing a little bit of highlighting like under her elbow. White ABs here, white and pink ABs through here, white and pink ABs through these triangles. Tons of white ABs. All the white in the frame is a white AB here in whatever this the spear we'll call it a spear that she's holding lots of white ab's through here my comic book nerd friends are dying that i don't know exactly the lore behind this particular piece but uh white ab's some white ab's highlighting through her hair i told you guys we have those two giant bags of white ab's we got to have them somewhere it looks like it's just highlighting everywhere it's going to be incredible a little bit of white AB highlighting the profile of her face. Normally I get a little nervous about white ABs and skin tones, but this is so highly stylized, I'm not concerned about it, honestly. Um, white and pink ABs all through these like jagged triangles and a bunch of the yellow AB as well. Yellow up here. I, with the amount of yellow AB I'm seeing, I am maybe a tiny, tiny bit worried that I may not have quite enough. So I will take a look. I might even send a preemptive message over to Diamond Art Club just to be like, I really think I'm gonna run out of this AB. Um, that was the one that was cut open. White ABs here, highlighting around this heart, highlighting around this heart, and a big chunk of white ABs in the middle, up at the top in the frame, which is out of frame, incidentally. <laughs> um, all white ABs through here, and a single solitary pink AB here right in the middle of that heart. <laughs> uh, I think it's possible I overlooked some of that really pale lavender AB and I, I hope you'll forgive me if I did I did I do see a little bit of the pale lavender AB right here and right here so I might have missed those the first time through um, but this just gives this really highly stylized piece an overall like really amazing sparkly shimmery effect I am blown away like this is going to live up to the amazingness and the the like anticipation and the hype that I feel like has been building since we got to see a glimpse of this piece months ago. This looks amazing. I love how colorful she is. Look at this original artwork. I think that they have translated it amazingly and that the AB placement they've done looks so good. Like even those ABs that are on the bottoms of the ruffles in her dress, I think are gonna be perfection. <laughs> and I am in love. Like I just think this is gonna be absolutely amazing. Diamond Art Club, it looks like you have absolutely knocked it out of the park again. I know that this style of artwork is gonna translate in an absolutely stunning way to diamond painting form. And I cannot recommend highly enough that you guys jump on this piece when it releases. So let me give you all the information. This is gonna be um, one of the new releases. It's gonna come out tomorrow, which is Saturday, June 11th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time or 12.30 p.m. 
Eastern time. That's the general release time. Now, if you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier of their rewards program, you'll get a half an hour early access window that begins at 9 a.m. Pacific time or noon Eastern time. We don't know which kits are going to be limited edition before the actual release time. So I do suggest checking in at release time. A kit like this, I can feel relatively confident in saying that I think we'll sell quickly. I think she's gonna be very, very popular. And that being the case, if she does happen to be limited edition, you want to jump on her right away because limited edition kits will not be restocked once they do sell out. So don't wait, don't sleep on this one, you guys. Don't sleep in, set your alarms. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with all of you guys ahead of the weekend's release. I hope this was helpful uh, for you to decide if this is on your shopping list. I feel like she needs to be because she's incredible. I am here for all of these amazing kits we're getting as part of their licensing agreement with Warner Brothers and DC Comics. It's just, it's giving me life. I love it so much. But you guys, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would be more than happy to help. Best of luck to you shopping. Um, if you're not already subscribed, by the way, and you want to follow along with all of my diamond painting content, I would love to have you feel free to subscribe. And also please hit the thumbs up on the way out if you did enjoy this video and find it helpful. All right, friends, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.